it is crazy for you know to for us to even hear some of the things that people are talking about some of the things that these people are talking about are just totally crazy they're talking about you know people you know not reading books and only read books or listen to people I mean, to listen, read books that are written by them or don't even read books that are not Christian. Some people say you don't even have the right to, to listen to, I mean, to read books that are not Christian books. Or that, you know, so if I want to do medicine now and I want to become the best doctor in the world, I should be reading what Christian book will I read? So if I want to become the latest uh, Mark Zuckerberg, I should be reading Christian book. What book? What Christian book will make me a uh, Mark Zuckerberg? What Christian book will make me, you know, Bill Gates? What Christian book? They keep us in prison, in mental prison. So it's a pity that such stupidity will be propagated and human beings that are grown up some of them are even they say they are educated they will be swallow, swallowing these things and they will be thinking that no yeah it's true you can only read the bible everything is in the bible Ooh, wow wow okay maybe you tell me the diploma that you the medical certificate that you get i just read the bible mm -hmm. Will you tell me the inventions you made just reading the Bible? Mm -hmm. your, your engineering degree, could you show me? Just by reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it there? <laughs> oh, it's secular. That is secular book. Oh, right, it's secular book. Mm -hmm. Why do you go to university then? You think they are holy books then? <laughs> Secular books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. We need to teach our people to look for principles that lead to development. So let me give you some of these principles that lead to growth and development. We must begin to teach our people virtues or, or principles of integrity of labor. We must begin to teach our people integrity of labor is that labor has integrity, labor has dignity, dignity of labor. Integrity of labor, dignity of labor. That there is pride in labor. There is fulfillment in labor. That any form of work, any kind of work is dignified. We must begin to teach our people the principle of faithfulness. That if anything is committed to your hand, keep faithful to it. Be consistent, be persistent in being faithful in the little. Be, be faithful also in other people's businesses and be faithful even in secular things in the wealth that is not holy that is not godly be faithful in them you be faithful anywhere you find yourself these are the kind of principles that will lead to growth, sustainable growth and development both for the individual and for the country we must teach our people the principle of trust We need to restore trust back to our society. Trust is the, at the foundation of any society. Because when there is no trust, when the, there is distrust, nobody can do business. Commerce cannot grow. Entrepreneurship is impossible. Because there is no trust, there is no basis for relationship. Trust is the very basis of relationship. So look for principles of trust this new year instead of looking for miracles. Look for the virtues of faithfulness instead of looking for miracles in this new year. Look for the virtues of integrity of heart. 
look for the virtues uh, 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 or the principles of, uh, you know, putting of of idealistic worldviews. Principles of idealistic worldview. Principles that what is idealistic worldview? Principles that show you that the invisible things that we don't see are actually more, you know, they are more precious than the things that we see. That things like faithfulness, integrity, trust, diligence, excellence, all these things are actually much more important than the physical things that people are running about are for. That the, the invisible virtues of the character, that the content of our character, they are much more important than the wealth that we see right now. Or than the riches that surround us. Or that the noise all around us. That the virtues of your content and your character is more important than the public opinion. And the noise and the shout of your society. And that the invisible virtues and values in you are strong enough to be able to recreate your society. We must begin to let people know that if they will build themselves in values and virtues, if they will establish themselves in godly principles of truth and righteousness, that these principles are strong enough to be able to change the rottenness of their nation. That the principles of this unrighteous, I mean, these invisible principles of righteousness, these invisible principles of the kingdom of God, that they themselves are capable of overturning all the visible corruption and you know, horrible things that are happening in the country right now. We must teach people that greater is he that is in us than he that is that every other thing that we are afraid of in the world right now. And when we say greater are, are the things that we are is he who is in us, it's not just talking about the person of Jesus, but it's also talking about the word of God that is in us. It's because the God, God himself is the word. Jesus himself is the word. So if you put the word of God in you, the principles of God, the virtues of God, greater are those virtues, greater are those principles than all the rottenness and the decay that are out there in the society. Greater are the principles, that invisible principles of that I'm talking to you about right now than the, you know, the political thugs that you are afraid of, than the, the occultics that you are afraid of. That the poverty and recession that you are afraid of. The principle can actually grow to overwhelm and to restore and replace those things. Because everything came from the invisible world anyway. In the beginning was the world. And the world was God. And the world was with God. And out of it, everything was created that is created. And without it, there was nothing that was created. So everything that we are seeing visibly now came from the invisible world. They come from, you know, invisible qualities and invisible virtues that I'm talking to you about. So virtues are much more important than the material, physical things. That is what we call the idealistic worldview in philosophy. So we must be established in these worldviews that we are living from inside out, from the spirit out, not from outside in. We are not living from our emotions. We are not living from our feelings. We are not living from what has happened there and what has happened there. Or what people are saying. We are living out of what we believe. The virtues and the values upon which we stand. These are the things that are eternal. Because every other thing that is visible is temporal. Because the visible things are only temporal. And only the invisible things are eternal. And the invisible things are the virtues. The invis invisible things are the, are, the, are the value system. They are eternal. But the vis visible things, they are temporal. The corruption is temporal. The occultists are temporal. The rottenness are temporal. The decay are temporal. The recession is temporal. If we could believe so strong and strong enough in the virtues, the, in the invisible virtues of character, of righteousness, of you no know, character content, values, virtues like trust, faithfulness, integrity, 
hard work, dignity of labor, diligence, excellence, attention to details, perseverance, truth, responsibility, delayed gratification, contentment, attention to details, etc. So I've mentioned some principles already. <laughs> Let me repeat some of them again. Trust. Faithfulness. Integrity. Dignity of labor. Hard work. Diligence. Excellence. Meticulousness. That is attention to details. Perseverance, truth, responsibility, delayed gratification, contentment, persistence, focus, all these all these detail, all these invisible values and virtues, they are actually much more important than looking for miracles. Sunday Adelaide here. If you believe in nation building principles, please like this video, share it with your friends, and let's change our nations together.